Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a young gentleman with ulnar sided wrist pain. They had had some prior trauma. And this is an MRI with arthrogram. And this is the fat suppressed T1 sequence. We can see contrast in the proximal carpal road here. And on this view, we can also see abnormal contrast extension through the triangular fiber cartilage here into the distal radial ulnar joint. So this is just a tear of the triangular fiber cartilage, but uh, hopefully seeing several of these, you'll understand the anatomy a little bit better and have seen different tears in different places. So this is just a regular old case, and it shows a tear of the central disc here. So when I start these again, I always start off with the radius followed across and see where the ulna is. The ulna is at the same level, which is abnormal. Normally the ulna should be a little bit lower. It should be down about here. And when the ulna is too high, there's not very much room between the lunate bone and ulna, and the triangular fiber cartilage is prone to tear right here. So we do have a tear right here in the middle, and this is very, very close, and this is probably related to repetitive impaction and abutment with the ulna, ulnar abutment syndrome, but we don't see the classic cystic changes. Often you'll see marrow edema and cortical irregularity of the base of the lunate. We don't see that, but we do see the full thickness tear of the central disc of the TFCC, and it's allowing this contrast injected over here to track across and go down into the distal radial ulnar joint. Now this patient also had, let's see if we go to the palmar aspect, this is the palmar band, it looks kind of thin and attenuated, so I believe the tear went from the central disc into the palmar band, and if we go towards the dorsal band, it looks a little bit thicker and better. And also, if we follow this across, we see two other attachments right over here. There's one in the little cupped area here, this is called the foveal attachment, and the foveal attachment is torn. So I have two tears. One's right over here in the central disc going into that palmar band, and the other tear is over here at the foveal attachment. And now the styloid attachment is up here. This is the styloid process. And that one looks too thick, and it is partly related to redundancy. Since this is torn, this is drifting outwards, and this is um, redundant on, upon itself, and it's bowed superiorly. So it looks like, and it may even be scarred too. So there's a tear of the foveal attachment of the TFCC, a tear of the central disc and also the adjacent palmar band and the contrast is going to the distal radial ulnar joint and had some other problems with the ulnar and radial joint capsule but again this is just an example of the different anatomy and it tears in different areas. So hopefully, hopefully over time you'll uh, see enough of these too it'll be easy. So thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.